Hi guys, welcome back to Arm Candy. We have a beautiful piece of mulberry for you all today. This is a mulberry Milton, and it's the hobo version of the Milton. Um, it's in the color mink brown, which I think is a gorgeous color. I love the blush behind the brown, which almost make it a bit pinky. It's a really beautiful color and a really nice unusual style. I've never seen one of these before, and I really like it. It's a really nice bag. Um, I'll come back and show you the size of it. So it is a shoulder. Here it is on me. I'm about five foot four and a UK size eight, but of course all the measurements will be on the website. It sits perfectly with me. I like that I can stick my hand there as well. It just keeps it nice and comfortable. Um, yeah, it's lovely. It's a really, really nice bag. Um, I'll show you what it comes with as well, actually. So you've got the mulberry envelope that comes with it. And inside there, you've got the care card and you've got the product tag as well. So there it tells you um, the uh, color as well. It's mink chocolate and it's soft polished leather. Um, and then also you've got the mulberry dust bag too. I'll show you the features next. So you've got that one top handle here. Shall I turn it the right way around? You've got the one top handle here. Um, on the front, you've got two front pockets. So this one has got a flip um, twist lock closure with the flap. And then there's your pocket in there. And look how roomy that is. That's absolutely massive. Um, and then you're spoiled for choice with pockets because you've also got a zipped one as well. So I'll unzip that for you. Uh, and then you've got that big space there. Um, and then you've got a big top zip fasten. So there you go, I'll unzip that for you. And then inside, there's even more pockets. So you've got one zipped pocket there and I'll zip that up for you. And then on the other side, you've got one flat pocket as well. So there's so much space in this bag. You can fit so much in here. It's a real like TARDIS of a bag. So I think you've got a lot of space in here and because it's so flexible, it will kind of mold to whatever you want to put in there, which I think is brilliant. Um, condition wise, we have called the X zero condition good. Um, the reason being, you've got some marks to the corners so you can see a little bit of fading on the leather um, on the corners there. And then throughout, there's some little marks, scratches to the bag, um, but it's the kind of leather that wears so beautifully. Um, it still looks really good. And it's a polished leather as well, so marks kind of like go into it and it sort of makes the bag its own. Um, and there's a little mark just there. And also, on the zip, this end of the zip has a little bit, oh, sorry, wrong end. This end of the zip is missing the zip stopper. So it doesn't, it doesn't affect the use of the zip, the zip's not gonna come off, uh, but it does mean it gets a little bit stuck just there, but it's no problem. It comes undone easily, um, but it just makes it a little bit more of a uh, struggle to undo it. But as you can see, it comes open fine. But I just wanted to point that out, just in case anyone um, says there's something missing, because it's just that little bit there, but it makes no problem opening and closing the bag. Um, so I think that's it for the exterior. Uh, the interior is in excellent condition. It is absolutely beautiful. It's a really, really lovely bag. It's just got a, no marks in there whatsoever. It's been kept beautifully. The owner has really looked after this. Um, hardware we have called worn. Um, I should have actually, the zip is in the hardware, so that should have been in the hardware. That's why I've called it worn. As well, there's some tarnishing to the gold but as I said it doesn't it suits the bag it's worn into it beautifully and then you've got these big plaques here and the plaques themselves they look fantastic those are in really good condition but you can see on the on the um studs there um they have some discoloration to them and there's a little bit of scratching there um so hardware worn so exterior good interior excellent and hardware worn um, so I think that's everything I've got to tell you about this one. So if you love this Mulberry Milton Hobo, have a look at it on our website. We'll put the link in the description below. But before you go, like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you get alerts when we post new videos. And when you go over to the website to see this baby, have a look at our newsletter. So you can sign up to our newsletter and then you can get 5% off your first arm candy purchase. Um, and then whilst you're there, have a look at all the other beautiful pieces of arm candy. We've got new stuff going on every day, so make sure you keep up. 